Welcome back! We have found the house of uh, Janesta, or the palace, I guess. But it seems she is not in any condition to uh, help us. Therefore, we must simply leave her be for now. And try to get that talisman back. Which for the moment means we have to do what the law told us to do and get that unicorn. We're no closer to achieving that, even though we're exploring and helping people and doing all kinds of stuff. Well, at least we're keeping busy. Okay, now I'd rather like it if the wheel showed up. And he actually does! Usually he doesn't when I want him to. <laughs> And he sucks us down! Horrors, you have been swallowed by a huge whale! Phew, this place stinks! Yes, I can imagine. Yep. That's the same description again. There's a skeleton in the boat. There's nothing in the old boat. It didn't help James, and it won't help you. I guess it was James who was swallowed by the whale. The skeleton of an unlucky man? Let's call him James. Rests atop the wreckage of a small boat. And there's a bottle here, floating around. Oh. It's a glass bottle. There's something in it. You open the glass bottle and retrieve the imprisoned note. This note doesn't really serve any purpose, except to do what Sierra loves to do best. Plug other Sierra games! Drug dealers are terrorizing the city of Lytton. I need a partner to help put away these bad guys in police quest. And then the most logical thing to do would be to write that on a note and throw it in the ocean so hard it traveled back in time and ended up in King's Quest. Help! I'm about to get blasted by evil Syrians in Space Quest. Anybody have a handy ray gun out there? I then don't think Rosella knows what half of these words mean. Help! The girls in leisure suit Larry and the land the lounge lizards are mighty uncooperative. Give me some help here, guys. There's, I think, at least a, another couple uh, once. I see a beautiful mermaid in King's Quest 2, but she won't help me. Tell me what to do. Apparently King Graham wrote this note. Hey, I need help here. The wicked horned king has has had me thrown into his dungeon. If I don't get out of here, then evil will rule the world in the Black Cauldron. It's another uh, Sierra game, based on the Disney film, obviously. Sludge Vol is holding me prisoner in Space Quest 2. Help me out of this jam. I think that's all of them. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we can't help anybody else. We have to help ourselves. And unfortunately, this is one of the worst bits of this game. Trying to um, get out of the will. Now, if you remember um, either the fairy tale or maybe you remember Pinocchio, the way to get out of the will is to make him sneeze. And since we can't start a fire, the alternative way we could uh, get a reaction from him would be to tickle his uvula with this feather that we now have. That's why I didn't want to get swallowed while we were swimming towards the island, because he didn't have the feather yet. In order to get to the uvula, however, we need to climb the tongue, which is uh, difficult. There's only one path that actually works. You need to go around the side here and sort of edge up there. Oh. I hope I'm getting, getting that right sometime soon. Okay. I'm not doing too great, am I? Let's try saving here. That's going a bit better. 
<laughs> Good thing I saved. Okay, that's uh, the ticket. When we stand up, we know we're doing right. Then just walk to the center and walk up. And there you can tickle the uvula, even though that's supposed to be at the back of the throat, not right up against the teeth. But anyway. Let's see if we can get some response. You frantically tickle the throat of the whale with a big peacock feather. You begin to feel a quiver under your feet, which quickly turns into a mighty tremble. Suddenly, you hear a thunderous ACHOO! And you are swept out of the whale's mouth in a tremendous wave of ocean water. Again, you find yourself swimming in the ocean. And uh, there seems to be an island to the north. And since we can't swim for uh, very long, let's try getting there. There is actually also a shark in this ocean, so if you're unlucky, you uh, might end up uh, getting eaten by it. So far we haven't seen it yet, though. I'm going to save here under a different name. There's a pelican sitting there. You have found yourself stranded upon a desert island. Also, it seems to have others before you. Now what are you going to do, Rosella? If you get too close to the pelican, he flies away. Congratulations, you're now stuck on the island. No way to get off. This is another one of those places I really don't know how you're supposed to figure it out. There's a couple of things actually here, here that are hard to figure out. For one thing, you need to very carefully look at everything here, like that boat. It looks as if many an unlucky sailor has been stranded here. You see a glint coming from one of the wrecked boats on the beach. A glint? Let's investigate that glint. Oh. You look at the ground inside a wrecked boat. What is this? Why, it's a golden bridle! You pick it up and carry it with you. Useful if we find any enchanted snakes, I guess. Or, maybe for the unicorn. Oh, and then he still flies away. Okay, let's do that a bit quicker then. Well, let's do that f first, and uh, I'm gonna do this first. Let's see if I can do that. Let's look at the pelican. A pelican visits you on this desert island. There's no hint what you're supposed to do. What you're actually supposed to do, and that's the only way you're gonna get off this island, is to throw the fish to the pelican. I don't know. If there's a hint for it, I've missed it. Um. Eh. Well, that sucks. Um. I don't know, maybe he comes back if you wait long enough. He might. You throw the stinky dead fish to the pelican. Greedily, he catches it in his large bill. As he does so, you notice something shiny fall from his bill onto the ground. What did he drop? You see a shiny whistle lying on the ground. We have a silver whistle. And we also need that bridle, of course. Um. Apparently we're not allowed to cheat with our knowledge of what it is. But we're still stuck here. Well, we just found a whistle. Let's try blowing it. Always wanted to be a whistleblower. That's a peculiar sounding whistle. You put the shiny silver whistle to your lips and forcefully blow into it, producing a loud tweet. To your astonishment, a friendly dolphin appears just offshore and jabbers excitedly at you. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Well, can we talk to the dolphin? You speak to the dolphin and it chatters back. Can we ride the dolphin? The, the, the fold bin, whatever. Apparently we can. And no, you cannot swim back to shore from this island. It's too far away. 
You would get tired and drown before you got there. Or get eaten by shark. Okay, looks like he deposited us back at the uh, start, where we uh, began, actually. Which is to the north of the fisherman's house. And we didn't actually start here. We started one screen further to the north. At that river, you can see up there. Which means that here we haven't gone to the west, uh, to the east yet, so let's do that now. You're surrounded by beautiful wildflowers in this luscious green meadowland. And there is a pool here. The beautiful pool, with its elegant marble columns, has a wonderful setting in these woods. The water looks so cool and inviting, you're almost tempted to jump in. And that looks like... Cupid? Baby Cupid beats his little wings furiously as he flies through the air. In his chubby hands, he carries a golden bow and two golden arrows. Which he drops off, and then he goes for a swim. Can we talk to Cupid? You speak to Cupid, but he doesn't seem to hear you. I guess we need to get closer. Uh-oh, you startled Cupid! And he rushes off. Hey, you forgot your bow! Ah, uh, well, we can't leave that lying around here, so let's get that bow. Maybe we'll get a chance to give it back later. Cupid's bow and two arrows. Okay, let's uh, keep going east. Oh, okay, let's not keep going east. There uh, is an ogre there. And his house. And we'll have to deal with him later, but for now I don't really want to. Um, although we have what we need to deal with the unicorn now, there's something else I want to do first. For which I need to return to the east. We want to go back to this waterfall we found before. And there we will find one of the most hated parts of this game. Because there's this waterfall, and remember that um, I said that the only way we were getting past that if we were better swimmers. And we have found a crown a while back that Presumably, he turns us into a, f a frog. And frogs are certainly better swimmers, so let's try that out. You automatically hop under the waterfall, where we find a cave. It sure feels good to be yourself again. Indeed it does. Interesting. Well, in order to find the fruit, we have to cross the mountains, and we're obviously not using the path that goes uh, to the Lot's house, so maybe we can go through the mountain rather than over it. But we'll have to try that in the next video.